Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and I am back for episode two of a KMA's Jams. <laughs> KMA's Jams. Jams, 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 jams. Okay, I'll stop being weird. Um, I am actually looking for a little bit of gold. So, let's go get some gold. Please find some gold. I am um, doing a little branch mining and working on something else that needs gold and I've used up all my gold. So far all you know is that uh, first little episode that I made, oh actually options, video settings, I had the settings on 50% bright and I noticed that last video was a little dark. Normally in the past I've recorded at 80% brightness and that seems to do well, but I want a little moodiness with these videos. Whatever, why, I don't know. But I want some moodiness with these videos. So, I was at 50%, so I'm going to bring it up to 70%. And hopefully that will help out. Because even when I was rendering, I noticed that that last video was just a little too quiet. So I wasn't too happy. I mean, it's nice playing with nice low render settings but I wasn't too happy about it um, being that dark and I know you guys suffer with the video quality when it's that dark so I am not gonna keep it that dark as you see I have a diamond pickaxe now and I've used it all up just like normal um, I, have, I don't have a lot of diamonds, as a matter of fact, when I started this um, mine shaft, this uh, branch mining operation, I had dug 250 blocks, two wide hallway in both directions, and when I found my first diamond, I looked in my achievements or statistics and found out that I had cut almost 3,500 blocks at bedrock level not bedrock level but level level 11 which is one level above the lava before I got my first diamond and I was like what I was actually looking things up because like, I'm in like a snow biome and I'm like on googling snow biome <laughs> snow biomes less caves less um, ore in those biomes and I couldn't find anything that states that so I'm guessing I was just where I started Branch mining was just the wrong place to branch mine because there was nothing there. Um, and I think I've only ex extracted less than 10 diamonds so far out of this region. And I've done lo <clears throat> lots of branch mining, lots of stuff, but that's okay because I need the blocks because there are certain phases in Minecraft playing. When you first start out, um, your only instinct, you know, when you first start a world is survival. I need to get food, I need to get a shelter so I can hide and go underground. So, the first aspect of uh, Minecraft playing is based on survival. But once you get, like, a iron gear on that's enchanted, like this, it, it becomes pretty easy as long as you have a source of food. Um, so it goes from the survival aspect to the collecting aspect of the game. Where I am at now, I am basically done through survival. I don't have a great source of food, which is the ultimate way to close the book on the survival part of the game. Um, but I am working at it. I do have pens with a bunch of cows and a bunch of pigs, and I do have a wheat farm and a carrot farm to um, breed those up to get good uh, eats so I won't have to worry about food but ultimately I do want a chicken cooker um, but there's no chickens in my area but I found some chickens near a village around here I've already found the village and when I go get the, the villagers from that village I'm gonna bring back a couple of chickens and start Reading up some chickens to start a chicken cooker. And uh, so that is basically 
um, the second part of the Minecraft game, which is the collection. Um, getting all the weird stuff, um, making sure you have enough iron, making sure you have enough gold to do what you want, making sure you have enough blocks to build. And some people can go to extremes with a collection aspect and get double chests of every block, like they find a, I don't know, a mesa, and then they go in and get a double chest of every single color of the stained clay and stuff. And that's all like the collection part of the, um, the game, which I also enjoy very much. Sometimes it becomes pretty tedious. Not as fun as the survival aspect because being destroyed by one creeper blast or, you know, a couple of hits from a skeleton and dying is more exciting than collecting blocks and going after coal like this and making sure we have enough iron and all that other stuff. But um, <clears throat> the collecting phase is still a phase that I enjoy a lot. Um, and then the third phase, which is what I think people really come f to Minecraft for, and one that I don't excel at very well, is the building phase. Um, with the blocks that you have collected in the collecting phase, you now have an immense storage system of all sorts of different blocks and you go okay well I need some glass and you can go and quickly either cook up some sand to get glass or you have a huge amount of glass already ready to go um, and that is kinda like the final stage um, you need oh I need three stacks of diorite to put a trim on this building or whatever and then you just go into a chest in your storage system and you go get that and um, that is happens with what I consider the final stage of Minecraft which is the building stage which people tend to really like um, but I for some strange reason I like the collecting phase and the survival phase Nothing against the building phase, but the building phase isn't um, challenging for me. I mean, building a, you know, a great building is challenging in itself, but the game itself is not challenging. 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 Challenging? Challenging. Yes. Challenging. Challenging challenging I don't know I'm gonna uh, excuse that on it's early in the frickin morning yeah it's 548 give me a break <laughs> who wakes up at 5 o'clock in the morning to play Minecraft and record it for the YouTubes so <laughs> um, I was building a project which I am NOT gonna show you or tell you about in this clip um, because I kind of wanted to tell you about the phases of the game that I rather enjoy um, and the phases that I see that people do so the survival phase then the collecting phase then the building phase and of course there's phase there's other phases um, do I have, yeah okay I have to kind of look over my mic a little bit um, so there's other phases to be had, but the phases overlap too. You know, when you're collecting, you can also be building stuff. And sometimes, you know, you just can't have everything at your base, so you go, well, you know, it would, would be nice to have vines coming down and, no, I do have a vine farm all the time, but not everybody does. And I understand that and that you know so you go oh well I need this weird block or something for a building project you go collect it but for the most part uh, it is separated into three phases in my my understanding and I don't know I don't know where I was going with that but I am almost done with the survival phase 
What I'm really, really looking for is some gold. I need 18 gold to finish off my project that I'm working with. In the second half of this video, you will see that project. But to give you a hint, there's only a few things that you... There's 19. Okay. So my goal is done. There's only a few things that you need gold for in this game and let's see what could they be golden apples no 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 i'm not a fan hi whoa i don't yeah i'm out of i'm out of arrows which means that I'm not done with my collecting phase yet. I need to collect some arrows. <laughs> so run away, run away, fighting skeletons on over lava, not fun. So the collecting phase also can include farms and getting, um, you know, supplies like a skeleton farm, making a skeleton farm. Yes, it's a building thing, but ultimately you're building to collect. Um, so it's really a collection phase. So, um, what I wanted to say, <clears throat> real quick, you don't need gold for many things. <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody in my family is kind of fighting the cold, I haven't caught it yet. My daughter's fighting it a little bit, so I have a little meh in the throat. So, forgive the bleh in the throat. Bleh. Gold. What do you need gold for? You can make it into iron, you can make it into tools. But it's so weak, I mean it's strong, but it, the durability is so weak that, no, I don't need gold for tools or armor. Um, I can use it for golden apples, yes. Golden apples, rock for UHC. But you know, look at my health. I don't really need gold for golden apples. So, what do I need gold for? I could use gold for tracks. Yes, tracks, power rails. So what would one need gold for power rails? I'll tell you. It's what I'm gonna be finishing up in the next clip, but you've seen this before. Yes, that's right. We're building another one of these. Drop, 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 drop. <laughs> I made this wrong. For every corner, that you have here that you go around uh, let me make a place for this in the setup you don't go up one so you take the corner you put one down at the same level then you go up one then up one then up one and I forgot to go and do that so I'm gonna fix my mistakes I hope this doesn't mess up what I just did up top See, we got a corner here, so we keep it at this level, then we go up one. Now it's going to be all cool and stuff, and get this finished real quick, and go, Hey, imagine that, look at me placing all these rails, and I look like what I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the key part, looking like you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's the key to life right there. Nobody knows what they're doing. It's just you gotta look like you know what you're doing and you'll be fine. So yes, I meant to do that because I wanted some exhilarating footage here of me tearing down something I've made block by block and rebuilding it. But thankfully this is the top of the thingy-majig. I don't even know what to call this thing. And because this thingy-majig is so awesome, it doesn't matter that I messed it up. So, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. 
let's get these power rails down that I was trying to get at. So, yes, a problem, but not a not a big problem. Problems happen all the time. We just gotta know how to take care of them. Like the extra spit on my lip. Yeah. Yum. Not really. So, here is <laughs> that woolly mine. Yo, oh, woolly hermit craft elevator thingy majiggy. And we'll take it for a test spin in one second. I just wanted to show you while I'm up here where I am making all this stuff. This is going to be the mining outfit of the world. The world. And this is the original cave that I went into when I first started the world in episode one. Way back in episode one. Monday. Um, yeah, so this is the world. There's my Roger Dean floating island thing. And I spawned somewhere over there and ran f towards those woods. And this is, you know, you see the cave right there. So that's the one I went into and did my first caving, I think. All that explanation, and I'm not even 100% sure. But also, before we test that out, I made the farms I did go to the nether I got uh, trying to get this um, sugar cane expanded all the way I got one more row to put down here and I'll be all set got tons of moos and tons of pigs so and there's a moo got out there was no moos around here so this moo that moo came from in here and made it all the way over there. He swore. Wow, that's a strong move. But anyways, that was a little jaunt off the initial thought process for this recording. But before this video ended, I wanted to let you know that I actually did something between videos there. And I am not, I'm still on survival stage because I haven't built up the cows enough to have an uh, unlimited source and I'm not going to be happy until I get a chicken cooker. These chicken cookers work on their own. I guess I could make the cow slaughter thing that is on the Hermitcraft server but I've never made one and I don't like squishing all the, I don't know. It, chicken cookers are better. I've never actually tested the other thing. But anyways, that's how it goes. This is a woolly mine uh, cart elevator thingy majiggy I made in the other world. And it does spit. So let's go. Plunk. And let's hope um, when I hit this button, a cart comes out and I can ride it. So let's go. Maybe if I had the thing empty. So yeah, it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I made it in the last world and then plop, it goes down again. Uh, when I made it in the last world, um, the world basically ended really quickly because my computer died really quickly after I made this. So I haven't had much fun playing with it yet. And I noticed now that I've made it, wow, is this thing bigger than I thought. So um, I'm going to make this room a little bit bigger. One, two, three. At least two more blocks on each side. Then I'll spruce that, this all up and make it look good. Um, let me take this. Wrong place for a crafting table but it was kind of like the original place I'm just gonna throw it right there for now so this is done next project will be to continue doing the breeding the pigs and cows and also to make a ceiling much better here I can't believe I went 250 blocks in that direction and 250 blocks in that direction. You can't even see the end of these tunnels. And I didn't get one single diamond from that. Oh, 
I, I literally was going, Ice World's Diamond Ore Scarcity? Doing all sorts of different Google searches for that because it was blowing my mind. And you know what I ended up doing? I ended up, um, because I thought this world was corrupted somehow, I ended up getting the x-ray pack, throwing it on and looking through the walls. Let, let's go do that real quick. This is kind of cheaty, but hey, um, I'm not going to be like looking, seeing a diamond in the wall and going after it. It might happen um, when I do the branch mining. But yeah, see, there's diamond right there and stuff. Um, so that one will always stay there because legitimately, I never dig down from level 11. I always kind of like the looks of this. So yeah, there's diamonds. There's not many caves around here. But um, it doesn't look like this world is corrupt or anything. So I'm going to continue with it even though there is a lack of diamonds I, I mean come on really I dug this whole way without hitting into a thing of diamonds and there's only a couple of them around but it's legit it's not corrupt so I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna get rid of this resource pack again and at any time if you guys know me which you guys really don't you would know that I wouldn't put that on specifically to go to do that go get diamonds um, because that's cheating I just use that to make sure that there is diamonds around. Um, so like if I were to get this and it runs into the diamond thing, I don't even know where it is on here. I think it's down right there. So be it. I got it legitimately, but I'm not going to see it in the x-ray attack and go, oh, there's diamonds right there. Let's go get it. No, that's, that's beyond. That's beyond what I want to do. So... How did... That is it for me today. And that is not a good thing to do right there. Oh. That's it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed. There's going to be lots of new projects coming up. See, I'm all enchanted. Yeah! Um, and I'll see you next time. End of episode two. Sometime maybe this week. Episode three. Or next week. I don't know. Goodbye.